You get the bag and fumble it. I get the bag and flip it and tumble it. I gotta get close to the microphone and then speak from the center of my chest. Um, <clears throat> so the other day, uh, so the other day we were gonna talk about um, Andrew Tate getting banned off of Instagram and Facebook and TikTok. Right? Yes. Yes. Now I've had a change of heart about my stance on your okay yeah, 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 yeah. you changed positions i i definitely changed positions um and i'll tell you why uh okay. so at first for for context for people i originally said good riddance good bye bye get the fuck off the platform get all of his shit off the platform blah blah, blah whatever but after watching uh a playback video as well as a philip defranco video uh, which, you know, Philip DeFranco is kind of, you know, in his own camp, doing his own thing, whatever the fuck, right? Um, I came to terms with the fact that this content is going to exist anyway. And I believe we talked about this earlier in the week as well. Uh, we did that, actually talked. Uh, yeah, we did. Yeah. Sorry. And you had let me know that, oh, he doesn't actually even like barely even uses these platforms. His content is being reposted by other people, by fans and, you know idol worshipers yes. and stuff like that and blah 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 so i really sat there and i started thinking to myself man what did he do to make these niggas that mad and i don't even mean that like to be like joking like really andrew tate's content in itself is still a form of expression and yes you, these are privately owned companies and they're allowed to say what goes on and what does not go on on their platform sure but you'd have to ban his content outright like anything that 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 visualizes andrew tate in, in, a, in a misogynistic way uh anything that just has andrew tate in it in the first place now you and i both can attest to andrew tate is not the worst thing on the platform i, I think we can agree. no andrew tate by she far, definitely is not yeah and there's there's way worse people on these platforms that exist i mean even in this playback video uh and one previously that we sat and we watched there was a there was a um, a group of black women that were saying that uh black male babies need to be deleted like oh you right didn't see the, that video no i did I, I did i went back and i watched it and i was like these are people with active youtube channels with hun this girl is at 122,000 subscribers and and uh, in multiple videos, she's talked about how black uh, black boys specifically and black men should not not exist. How black boys should go through hormone therapy to calm their hormones down as they get older. There was another clip where she was talking about they need to be um, uh, that all I think it was like all black boys at a certain age automatically need to get like mandatory vasectomies or something like that so that way they can't continue to spread the disease it, like she said that they're spreading a disease of their masculinity and it was just like whoa 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 this is crazy talking about taking children and snipping dicks off is crazy like but we gotta ban andrew tate and and honestly as a grown ass man, I mean, obviously, you know, if, if it's just me in taking information, Andrew Tate, once again, I'm going to say this, not the worst person to be on these platforms, but the stuff that he's saying is not that crazy. Like there's, if you're able to listen to what he says, subtract the bullshit and then get the core of, of what he's trying to say and the message he's trying to put out, it actually, some of this stuff is actually pretty good. Like why would you that one of my favorites was a tiktok that i saw um uh, i saw it on instagram was him saying why would you focus on a relationship why would you focus on a woman and, and you have no money and there's nothing appealing about you like you're you don't have any money you don't have a place to live you still live in your parents house and i was like i was really like damn like okay this is very kevin samuels of you and so just that clip was like this probably could have supported somebody this probably would have made somebody get off their ass to like go and actually do something but then you know when you watch the rest of the clip and like you look in full context because it's made in like a music video style where like the music is really loud and it's supposed to be super inspirational and stuff like that i remember that clip. oh yeah i was able to find that clip because then after he goes he says no woman wants to be with a fucking fat ass and i was like all right well <laughs> <laughs> okay like <laughs> like this guy's wallet so you know if you take certain clips you're, you're like damn this andrew tate guys he's, he can't be that bad but then once again if you have to ban his content off the platform you lose the inspirational stuff too so uh 
hold on. Let me. I, I'm sorry. I'm, no, I'm no, going to interject go here for a second. Yeah, that was the end of my rant, because, by the way. Okay, good. <laughs> because <laughs> I, I know I, I was sitting here. I was listening to you. And yes, Andrew Tate does say some stupid shit from time to time. Uh, maybe even some of it to a lot of it is dumb shit. But he did make a hour response video that uh his final message essentially and i i watched it right mm -hmm. i analyzed it and while i did not well, I, i'd say he's right one of the great points he made in this one hour one hour long uh one hour long response or final message is he said yeah even if you ban me like yeah you could ban me but you're gonna like this this messaging and this this way of speaking is not it's uh, somebody else basically what he said is somebody else bigger with more crazy views is gonna come out oh, and true, i had true, i thought true. about that and i was like yeah that makes sense yeah it's a it's that it's the same vacuum you create when you kill a terrorist like and, somebody else is uh, just gonna take his place well also one of the one of the points he made that was one of the points he made that i really thought was interesting is uh fuck. <laughs> you got it you got it you got it yeah yeah hold on sorry i had a brain fart yeah uh, slide it home i mean these okay uh these <laughs> topics yeah they're gonna be they're they're still gonna be talked about right like there's obviously a a audience for it right mm -hmm. so somebody else is gonna find them and then he's gonna say shit that is gonna you know what i mean it's not gonna be against the algorithm right it's not gonna be it's gonna be now people know what to say and to not get banned essentially right so now people are gonna find a different way to go around that but with maybe even more extreme views mm -hmm. that's that's a point he made as well he's or right. that's he's somebody right. else made that point i believe I think uh, I forgot. No, who no, I no. It was him because I re I remember that video. No, it was in, it video. was in the final message. No, there was Unless another. You watched that. There was another video where he was already uh, commenting on it. This might have been from years ago when he was probably like saying some other shit and probably got into some hot water. Um, but I'm pretty sure it was him. I, I'm I'm like almost pretty sure it was him who said that because he said, "Yeah, we, without my presence." Uh, actually, yeah, it was him. He said, without my presence, it just creates a space for someone with far worse views, and at least they listen to me, and them, these young men listening to me help them become better people. That's essentially my goal. Um, and then he said something to, I'm, I'm paraphrasing now, he said something to the effect of someone else uh, could come along and fill the space that I leave behind and say way worse things in a manner that people are more accepting of and can reach more people than I ever could. Mm. So, and, and and I agree. I agree with his point. I mean, you know, God God rest the dead. You know, I, I miss Kevin Samuels. Kevin Samuels had some, uh, even though, you know, his, his content that was, you know, I'll say, quote unquote, shitting on women. I mean, I didn't really fuck with that content because that wasn't content for me. Like that wasn't content yeah. that was intended to tar be targeted to me specifically a 30 year old black man like i don't i don't give a shit about the things that he has and the advice that he has to say to women and stuff like that and them being more practical and blah 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 blah, and less choosy and all this other stuff that shit doesn't apply to me his videos where he tells me i'm a piece of shit because i only make fifty two thousand dollars a year and i should be getting my money up instead of getting my funny up and i'm like oh okay this is og might have a point man Oh, I might I might have to go in and study something and he was like yeah you need to develop a craft and get some extra paper and I'll never forget because we've actually said this before on the podcast you can't be broke and content at the same you can't be broke and comfortable at the same time I think that's I believe you said that yeah, yeah, yeah you can't be broke and comfortable at the same time which obviously is just you know a, a far more exaggerated way of saying like okay if you're broke and you're content with the life that you live, cool, you're happy. All right, dope, awesome. But don't complain about not having good things because you chose to be content with your life. You chose to be comfortable with the position that you're in. So, I mean, and I live by that, honestly. 
that's why I'm out here still struggling to be a fucking content creator. I, 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 I probably will never change my, my Discord name anymore from L Content Creator. Like, just just because it is what it is. Like, it's funny when we hee hee ha ha with the nicknames, but I don't think I'm going to change my name anytime soon. Just because that's truly how I feel. Like, even if I had like 150, 200,000, a million subs, I'm still going to have like, you know, still feel like I can do better. So, and I want that to reflect in my content. So, you know, I I think the vacuum that was created by Kevin Samuels' passing has led to Andrew Tate being put in position to kind of take the mantle. Because, I mean, I, I it, other than Andrew Tate, who else is in the manosphere that's like, a notable OG like they're they're old enough to like where you listen to them and you're like oh they're clearly clearly speaking from a space of experience who who Sneeko uh, I, I don't think I so. couldn't tell you <laughs> no I don't think Sneeko's very experienced yeah, no but... not at all <laughs> that guy can't tell I... his asshole from a brown paper bag <laughs> like <laughs> come on uh I don't I, I'm not really into the quote-unquote manosphere that much because I think that whole section of YouTube is kind of corny uh to just to me I, I think that shit is corny but at the same time i understand there is a a necessary it's necessary for that to be there right because you have people who are not guided uh in in a well manner they don't have positive male role models right yeah no father figures so, things like that <laughs> so, well yeah that, i mean that that's essentially what it, it is a lack of a lack of strong masculine uh figures like if you don't have one, yeah, that is, yeah. then you're gonna seek that, you know. So it is what it is. Um, now let me ask you a question. Do you feel like there's, I mean, if there is any, I personally believe that there is. Is there a difference between the red pill space and manosphere content? Um, well, it depends what you consider red pill and and manosphere. So where does that distinction lie? Um. Because most of the most people, the most times that I hear that word, they're kind of, uh, they're close. They're closely related, essentially. Right. Right. So close. where do you draw that distinction so that I can give a proper answer? So for me, this is just from my experience. That I don't, I don't say that this is the true definition or anything. Just from what I'm seeing online, it appears that every time I see the word red pill being used, quoted, cited, anything like that, it usually has something to do with disrespecting women. Anytime I see things that are labeled, and this is just what I've seen. So once again, this is just what my eyes have come across. Anytime I have experienced manos, what I would cons consider manosphere content is anything in the benefit of men's health, mental health, or well-being, which could be red pill content too. See, like that, they kind of like interject a little bit there. Yeah, that's that's what I was saying. So essentially, they. They preach a lot about that in the red pill community is what I what I see or what I from what I've watched. Right. Is that they they love talking about getting your money up, getting your fitness in, you know what I mean? Not caring about, you know, frivolous women and things like that. You know what I mean? Frivolous. I mean, women some some of them. I'm just saying. Yeah, I, I personally I love frivolous women. You know what I mean? Like Nice and, <laughs> yeah, nice and cheap, bet. nice and broke. You know what I'm saying? Oh, God. Well, I mean, they make for the best company. I don't mean like sexual company. I mean, like they got a lot to talk about because they don't got no okay. jobs. They got to be good at something. <laughs> okay. What? Fair. I'm just saying, if, if like, that's not just a woman. Like, if a person doesn't have a job, you better have an expertise in something. You better... What are you spending True. all your time doing? Like, tell me about the things that you know. Like, you got to know something. You're spending your time doing something, right? Like, you'll have some somewhere damn near expertise, even if it's like laying on the couch in a specific position. Like, what's the best way to lay on the couch? I bet you some motherfuckers out there right now listening like, Jay... Let me tell you, where you prop your foot up at a 45 degree angle, hanging off the top side of the couch, and you kind of spread your man eagle wide open, you know, and one arm hanging oh, off to the side. I'm sure somebody has a oh, technique no. that they could tell me about right now, because I don't spend that much time on the couch. I mean, I just, I just don't. Like, I spend more time in bed or at my desk. Like, I could tell you what's comfortable. Like, I have this weird position where, like, I'm sitting in my, in my chair normally, right? And I'll put one foot on my desk. Just like one one whole ass leg. And I'd be like, that's comfortable for me. <laughs> you know what I mean? Like, I've spent hundreds of hours in that seated position. I think I would know. So. Okay. Uh, well, back to what we were talking about. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. My you, bad. You my went bad, my crazy bad. left. <laughs> but. Yeah, we only right. We only right leaning over here. All right. 
Yeah. Oh God. Yeah. That's it. Okay. America. I'm really. Yeah, we were talking that. about red pill. Sorry. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I. Please go off. Go off. Go off. Okay. I'm listening. No, I'm trying to figure out where we're at because we just keep going in different directions. I mean, it's a good conversation. I mean, so I was. No, no, asking, I, I'm not mad. At it. I was asking you where do you, if there is one, is a line between red pill and manosphere content. Okay. Um. And how would you would you define either of those uh, as two different things, or would you say they're the same, even though they um, cross at at certain points and then, you know. I don't. I'm not sure if I'd say that. Uh, they're the same there's definitely distinctions between the two because i don't know if you remember you remember the guy we reacted to on, i believe it was on our, our patreon and it was the the guy who was talking about uh, the dude in the oh my god the guy who was uh, let me help you with this what did he look like he was the guy in the car and he was talking about his sexual experiences with the, the younger oh, ladies the, oh the yeah yeah the guy with the appetite the guy with yeah, the appetite, the appetite for underage that, girls. Yeah, yes. yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, okay. All right, please. That guy, because he said he was a part of the, the Manosphere in quite a few number of videos. So I don't know if we're going there or we going right That is pill. a different dark place that I didn't even consider. Because <laughs> he's, you, I don't know if you remember it. Like, he said he was like, oh, yeah, that's why I'm respected in the Manosphere XXY. You know what I mean? Do you remember that? Uh, yeah, I do. I do. I'm actually... Uh, quite disgusted <laughs> oh my bad now that i think about it no because the, this guy really mr. Was, appetite. yeah this guy really, <laughs> mr appetite was really preaching that like this is something that they believed in his core group of quote-unquote manosphere creators or community or whatever and to value underage women is is just absolute bonkers to me so you know i think well that highly like yeah that yeah that <laughs> to where that he degree, a, yeah. Where, where he was yeah, yeah. the appetite portion of it, where it's just like, yo, yeah, like, that was like you that was at very wings? sickening. Yeah, yeah, that's a sick individual right there. That guy needs to be off the face of the planet for sure. Um, I, I forget that figures like that do exist in that space. Um, and then you have you know other ones, you know, in the other parts of the manosphere space. So. I, yeah, I don't think I guess we're not going that extreme. My yeah, bad. I didn't yeah, mean yeah. to derail. I, this no, one. no, no. I mean, but it's still it's still valuable information because you know if you take one, you have to take the other. It's the same thing when uh, when Destiny was telling uh, not just Destiny but also uh, was it Abba it, not Abba preach as well as uh, Agent were saying, hey, you can't just blindly believe in everything that's red pill, red pill, red pill because you have to take the good with the bad too. And that yes. was something that Lowe even tried to express to him was like, you sound so hypocritical trying to believe all of these other things that these other red pill content creators say instead of thinking for yourself. And so when Sneeko was presented with that information, it was just like, oh yeah, but I'm a free thinker. But if you are, then why are you not thinking differently than the rest of this red pill content? Wouldn't you think for yourself? And he just like didn't have anything to say he was just like yeah but i'm still my own individual like i'm still a grown-ass man and i i do what i want and blah 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 and then they got into a whole nother tangent so yeah it's very interesting but i always go back to say this we need more positive figures in the space and i'll actually give you one one that he fully says he's in the manosphere uh uh space but I wouldn't consider him. I would consider him more positive because he's more about men's physical health, uh, as well as your mental wellness and improving yourself for your occupation. So he is uh, Captain Sinbad, and I believe I want to say he's middle. Okay, Eastern. who is who is that? I don't. I'm not so familiar with I'll, him. So I'll actually explain. send you a a really good video. So he's a filmmaker um, from. I want to. I, Get where he's from but he he lives in la now so he focuses on a lot of uh film content right so he yes. presents everything in a very uh ooh, excuse me he presents everything in a very kind of uh cinematic type of way hold on let me send you uh this real quick i'm gonna put it in the culture chat in the culture text chat in the VC. okay um so captain sinbad focuses on a combination of uh, funny serious topics specifically for not just men 
but filmmakers, writers, creatives, entrepreneurs, things like that, men and women. So he's more on the space of you need to be pushing yourself. It doesn't matter like how far you've gotten, you can still keep going. If you've been through a certain amount of things, you can still keep going. So I've been watching his channel, almost every single video of his for maybe the past, going on two years now. Yeah, yeah, yeah. no, three, because I was when I discovered his channel, I was still living with Heavenly. And at the time he was only making like Casey Neistat type of film videos while also having a message of like self-improvement. So that's, that's what I would say he focuses on in self-improvement and has evolved that into men's self-improvement. So he doesn't speak on women. He doesn't speak on women's issues. He specifically says, hey, if you want to be more attractive as a person, you need to uh, be attractive to yourself. What are the, what are the, uh, he does this a lot. I think he actually put out like four videos just in the last two weeks on like growing your beard, your facial hair and making sure you look, smell and, and speak nicely to people because then they will want to be around you. So he's more of a positive figure I would consider in a manosphere, like space, if that makes any sense. But okay. I'm sure, I'm sure, obviously not everybody's, you know, perfect, not holier than now. I'm sure he's probably said something that was like, ooh, hmm. I don't know. But then again, I have been watching his content for almost two years now, and I have yet to see him. He just doesn't skew negative at all. Any like, I think he even has a video called Fuck Negativity. And it's literally anything that does not serve you, you need to eliminate it from your life because it's distracting you from your main goals and the things that you need to achieve. And so I was like, yo, this guy's a dope ass content creator. So I would think some, something more along the lines of him. I think we need more content creators like that or even like early kevin samuels the problem is and we've had this conversation before the problem is the ones that get the views the one that gets the clicks the one that get all the likes the one that get all the shares the the tiktoks made about them are the toxic ones are the ones that are saying this most extremist shit possible for views clicks and likes so you know yeah it's it's tough to because i even think uh on our our podcast we probably offer uh some points of views that may not be extreme but they're definitely not enough to get the nine people that listen to our show to become 10 people like we barely <laughs> you know what i'm saying like just being real like we barely yeah. have the ability to do that so it's like i guess this brings me to another conversation is how do we even grow in a space where we want to talk about entertainment self-improvement gaming uh entertainment you know anything like that you know, like that seems like a very saturated Ooh. space on, on both fronts. Like if we try to lean one way, like we're going to lean more gaming, right? There's tons yeah. of gaming podcasts out there. But here's the thing is there a lot of them are in discord calls, having conversations about this video game, this, this, this video game that if we broaden that horizon and go entertainment and we talk about the Andrew Tates of the world, we talk about, you know, the Kevin Hart's, the Jamie Foxx's movies, anything entertainment, right? Including video games. There's a, such a spread in that space. And of course there's tons of creators that already exist there. Sure. That's not our discouragement. Um, it's like, how do we expand our, our hold in that space? And then if we go even further and we just do pop culture, it's like, well, now we have to compete with way more people saying way more wild things. You know what I'm saying? So, yeah. I don't know. I, I I feel like when you do create uh, quote unquote men's content, you kind of have to go extreme, either left or right. So, I, I don't think that's true. In order to be popular? No, because think about Abba and Preach, right? They're not, I wouldn't consider them extreme at all. I mean, granted, they're not, I guess they're not fully men's content creators, but they do speak a lot about relationships and things like that. Yeah, I, would I guess another, a just above a, a drama channel, basically. Like something happens on the internet or in the world and they, they comment on it. They're, they're pop culture creators. That's it. Okay. Yeah. That, that's pretty much it. I mean, if something good, bad or indifferent happens, they're speaking on it. They're just com a commentary Fair. channel. That's it. Yeah. They're, they're, that's, that's probably better. Yeah. So. I wouldn't consider playback uh, uh, Manosphere or Red Pill content creators. I would consider them commentary creators. Okay, true. So, Fair. You know, they, they don't lean, they don't skew more left than they skew right, which was the whole debate two weeks ago. How, pe yeah. how Sneeko felt they were disingenuous. And it's like, but you can play both sides. Like, you can have a side where, where you and I can sit here and we can agree with 
nine out of 10 things Andrew Tate says, and then make a video instantaneously right after saying, oh, we definitely don't agree with nine out of 10 things that Andrew Tate says. So, you know, I think for the time, well, I guess to try and bring this back, let me reel it back a little bit. How can we develop that into our podcast? Okay. If you no, do you have any ideas? Um, I want to say yes. Uh, because I've been, obviously I've been doing content creation for a very long time. I never, one thing that I, I do know, and this is as an actor, a voice actor, a producer, marketing engineer, like everything I've ever done. I never move in a space or, or, or move from a space. I'm always very centered where I'm saying, oh, I know this information. We have to do it this way. Like, I'm, I'm always open to new ideas. I'm always open to new creative endeavors. I'm always uh, thinking that somebody, somewhere, or everybody actually, knows something more than I do. That's how I approach every single space, right? So in my experience that I have noticed throughout the years, and this is uh, concrete with both ABBA and Preach and Playback, for a podcast centered around pop culture, entertainment culture, and pretty much everything existing on the internet, including video games, we have to be able to figure out, okay, what is trending right now? And how can we offer a perspective that is going to not necessarily trigger people, but give people a reason to listen? Um, and I think having more or at least pretending to be or, or trying to be in a space of more passionate about that specific thing and trying to put ourselves in the shoes of people who do care about that issue. We could argue for or against a certain thing. So, uh, for example, if I wanted to argue with you about meninist, con menin meninist content against feminist content, you know, like we could sit here and go back and forth about how feminist content is either good or bad for women i mean we don't really know because we're not women we can't really you know determine what the fuck they think shit we yeah I, I barely even know when i date a girl i barely even know what the fuck she's thinking about and i ask her so <laughs> you know what i mean like it's it's it none of it makes any sense and even in the meninist content or men manosphere content i everybody's gonna be different you can't control the way people think can we influence it? Sure, yeah. We could probably speak a lot more about that. I think we could probably speak a lot more about being a man in the content creator space. I think we can, we personally can speak about our interactions with other content creators, whether they be men, women, or anything indifferent. So we have to speak from a place of expertise there. And then when we come across a situation where we're not necessarily familiar, rather that be, let's say it's the Brittany Renner situation where she's plotting on an 18 year old and she's 30. Right, obviously we're gonna have a few interest in that, right? But we're also <laughs> quite a few. Yeah, quite hopefully. a few. But we're also gonna be able to speak from a place of if that was me. Now you know me, I like to play white devil's advocate. I, I'm gonna sit here and pretend, okay, if I'm Brittany Renner and I'm in this position where I can get knocked up by an eighteen year old going into the NBA or the NFL, why would I not do that? You know what I mean? Like it's not going to make it. I'm not going to lose any value out of it. Me as a person, I'm just going to make more money off of it. So, you know what I mean? Like, go, yeah. go ahead. Get your money, girl. Like, if, if there was an 18 year old dude uh, going to the league that. or going to a professional sport, I, I mean, you only... were dumb enough to stick your dick in her, bro. Yeah, that's great and all. But <laughs> I, I severely disagree with that mm. opinion. Because, oh, that's, at, at, by the way, uh, sorry, I. I did mean to cut you off, but that's only because, you know, I was trying to use that as an example, not as of like, oh, hey, hey let's have a conversation. Yeah, because I could I could honestly care less. I mean, that those are no, some I of guess. the things that we'll encounter. Um, but I do want to hear your opinion, though. So please go ahead. OK, so is, is is that your actual opinion that you think that? Oh, no, 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 no. Absolutely not. No. OK, <laughs> I do think you, okay. if you're dumb enough to, to stick your dick in a girl that is like known for trapping dudes or having a certain reputation your mother or your father should have taught you better that's that's my opinion and if you're going into a, an athletic profession you need to be guarded like against everything you need to be watching your drinks you need to be watching who you hang out with like that's just basic you know what i mean that's what i think i think you should be guarded and okay. protected you're protecting your your investment yourself 
against from any infiltrators whatsoever whether it be man woman child uh fucking car <laughs> driving down the street yeah not nah. yeah okay okay Whew. Uh, i thought you were like your opinion was that and yeah, i was nah, 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 like nah. getting ready to like go crazy for a second nah, nah, nah. now if you <laughs> agree to have a woman have have a child with that woman that's that's a whole nother thing get your <laughs> give that woman her bread that's another thing like yeah. you know if you agree to it then yeah i guess but that's a whole different thing so please yeah, i want to hear yours my bad i fucking i i mean your opinion is pretty much correct don't protect yourself at all costs because you're you're now a valuable asset uh you yourself are an appreciating asset in going into the uh into a profession like that right so you should always be on guard even though even if it might not be all right like it's not it's not okay that you should be thinking about everyone as like a potential snake in the grass but at the same time like it's life is unfortunately not fair now i do have a spicy take for this okay I, the homeboys should be protecting you your friends around you need to be they need to protect the president protect the bag at all costs so if a girl's trying to mess with me and i'm i'm a you know athlete you know the highest of, of my game professionally play you know professionally professionally being paid millions of dollars to do a certain thing yeah i gotta know if you're real you gotta run through the homeboys first for sure <laughs> wait hold on explain yep, what you yep, mean by yep. that no i don't need to i don't need to i i need okay. to know you i listen if a woman if i'm a professional athlete right and a woman is trying to express interest in me the homeboys need to be protecting me at all costs. I need, I need, I need a homeboy to to lay down the lay down the line with that one. <laughs> first of all, she got to give the homeboy some pussy, for sure. Okay. For sure, <laughs> yeah. she got to put oh the entourage God. before she gets. To, you know That's what I mean? She got to take fair. out the pawns before she gets to the king. You know what I'm saying? Okay. Like you can't. <laughs> <Okay>. <laughs> That's, that's why I okay. said I have a spicy take on this because I'm, I'm dead serious. Like my homeboys should be protecting me. Like, yo, 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 hey, 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 hang back, hang back. Let me talk to this girl or we don't know what this girl is. Like if I'm Drake, right? And my homeboy, we chilling in the club and I see three fine honeys trying to come into the section or whatever. I'm not about to go address them. I'm gonna have the bodyguard go. My bodyguard gotta go and search them. I don't know what I don't know where these girls came from, who they with, or anything like that. No, my bodyguard gotta you gotta search your bag. He gotta put his hands on you. All this other stuff for my safety. Okay. <laughs> okay. Now hold on, hold yeah, on. We're getting into a weird spot. No, 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 no. Now here's the thing. It's up to me to make sure I hired some uh, security that's not creepy and gonna be rubbing up against this girl in an inappropriate way. That's on me. But if it's like somebody I trust and they they're supposed to be patting this girl down for like you know guns drugs knives anything that can hurt me as the police like to say uh then i need i need my homeboys to check her like hey look like you know you entering drake section right so don't come in here with no weirdo shit nah for real if i don't have homeboys around me that are trying to check the women that are trying to come into my section those aren't like those can't be my homeboys you know what i'm saying like at least at least my home at the very least they should keep eyes on these girls for sure for sure like my homeboys should be doing that at the bare minimum like oh, okay hold because on because if i look cut. away if i look away and this girl slips something in my drink you know what i'm saying i'm drake i'm the hottest artist in the world what makes you think a girl's not gonna try to date rape drake you see what i'm saying like she's just trying to get in you heard about the one girl talking about oh uh i was just gonna oh, take yeah. his condom out the trash can and he put tabasco in it come on man come yeah, on now. I, these these I, women I, I, these people are devious out here Okay, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. You're getting you're getting a little ahead of yourself. Okay, all right, yeah, yeah. Let's back it up. Because I, I tried to up. respond to a point <laughs> and you went crazy. Yeah, yeah. Sorry, and while that was like I, three, four points. My bad, my bad. While I agree with some of the things you said, I don't think that's necessarily somebody else's responsibility to like essentially do what you should be doing. Like, if you need to vet check a girl, right? You should probably, hey, you should, if you're that big, you should have security, first of all. Sure. Second of all, this is, you're having your homeboys <laughs> you not sleep with a girl first is nuts. <laughs> <laughs> what if it's not good? What if my homeboy comes back and he's just like, AJ, hey, nah, man. I, I don't care. That's not a conversation. That's not a nah, conversation man, that should be had. 
That's a crazy combo. Listen, plus, <laughs> but let's take it this way, man. You and me, we're going to TwitchCon New York, right? Okay, no. No, we're not. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yes, we are. Yes, we are. Check this out. Okay. So we go, right? I'm sorry. And you, you, you know, you see the badge. We got the creator badges and stuff like that. Girl comes up. Oh, my God. Is that just Jay Sama? Like, first of all, it, why are you laughing, bro? Why are you laughing? No, no, no. I'm just, speak just continue, this into continue, existence. Continue, continue, continue. Hey, okay. All right. Speak it in. Speak. You have to speak these things into into reality, man. You want these things to happen. You gotta you gotta say it out loud. Okay. Sometimes you gotta sound a little foolish. You know, that's like somebody saying, "I want to be the greatest rapper in the world," and it's like, Psh, "Come on, Drake exists. Nas exists." J. Cole exists, you know, like Jay Z exists. You're not gonna be the greatest. Come on now. You can't be a goat. Like, that's discouraging, you know what I mean? So, anyway, right. we go on to TwitchCon New York, right? Boom. Girl comes up to you. Hey, can I can I meet Jay? What are you saying to her? Probably not. Probably not. Because we're in a public venue and you're a... asking a very interesting question exactly. about somebody else. You see what I'm saying? That's that's the homeboy well, that's pre-vetting. That's way different. No, no, no. That's, that's the homeboy pre-vetting. That's a pre-vetting. way different situation. Nah. No, no, no. Because you're, you're, what you were describing before was a, a Drake level okay. individual, <laughs> right? And you're talking about Joe Schmo and Joe Schmo's friend, right? You See, being Joe Schmo no, no, no. and the, I being that's, his that's friend. That's the connotation that you give us. We're not, we're not at that point no more. We're not, we're no longer Joe Schmo. We're not Joe Schmo. No, we're no longer Joe Schmo's. All right, we're we're three steps above that. Like, like when oh, we really? go somewhere. Like, we're not worried about, like, paying for anything. Like, it's okay. not like we're wealthy, but it's like, it's not going to hurt us if we spend, okay. you know, we're go to the like, store. Like, hey, plank, let's, let's get these $300 shoes or whatever. You know, it's, okay. it's, it's whatever. We're like, semi-notorious. We yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. We can spend money leisurely, right? Okay. Yeah, but yeah. at the same time, if I'm a NBA-level prospect, let's go back to the NBA player. Let's not say Drake, right? Because Drake is a little extreme. Drake the NBA-level prospect, and I'm about to make a cool couple million. Or whatever, yes. whatever that man made. I don't. I'm not pocket watching. I'm just saying. I am. I, okay. <laughs> but it should not be somebody else's responsibility for me to like, for them to pat down a woman, and I'm not paying for security despite being a millionaire. Whatever. That is somebody else's response. That is your responsibility to make sure that woman is not insane. It's your responsibility. That's right. not their responsibility. Your homie shouldn't be like, ah, you know, you shouldn't be fucking with that bit, that that young lady. So it it comes back to the for me it comes back to the thing, hey, listen, man. Get your money, but hey, that's that's cr what she did was crazy. <laughs> what she did was insane. <laughs> So that's that's where I'm gonna end it with that. Right, but right. I, I agree with some of the points you said earlier. But us being Joe Schmo and Joe Schmo's friend still, hey, listen. All I'm saying, all I'm saying, I'm not listen, doing that. We're not doing girl, that. If a girl is trying to get at me and we're at we're Joe Schmo, okay. like, like let's assume the role of jo Joe Schmo and Joe Schmo's friend, right? If a girl's trying to get at me, oh my God, it's Jay Samo, you know, like I'd be like. Mm. <laughs> You you eyeballing her? I'd be like, yeah, you gotta fuck the homie first. You about <laughs> nah. to say no? You about to say no? This girl's trying to bag me. Yes, you know what I'm saying? I am like saying no. In I'd be a like, heartbeat. I'd be like, well, Plank said no, so look like it ain't no fun unless the homie's here. Well, I'm so. gonna say no to all of them. So yeah, <laughs> at some point, at some point, you're gonna have to stop here. <laughs> no, but I'm I'm dead serious. Like, hey, girl comes I up am to me. Too. Girl comes up to me and she's just like, you know. You know, I, I've liked you for such a, uh, you know, I've followed you on Twitter, this, that, and the other thing. She's saying this thing, that thing. I'd be like, hey, Plank, what you think? I already know you about to say no. Okay. Because you already, because we had this conversation just now. You already know this is going to happen. You. I'm going to be like, hey, Plank, what's the, what's the word? You about to be like, nah, nah, cut it off, cut it, cut it off. All right, well, hey, the homeboy, you know what they say, it ain't no fun unless the homies can have subs, which uh, he don't uh, want to give you none. No, so they don't. Like, you got a girl, hey, girl, you got to go. You gotta go. Anybody with some reason <laughs> has never said that. <laughs> some real like euphoria shit. Hey, listen, that's that's how I live my life. Listen, nah, if you're not trying to get a homeboy some coochie, don't don't approach me. Don't oh approach God! Me. Wait, I'm, what? I'm saying that right Why? now. I hope I I hope one day I get to like big content creator status and somebody sends I don't this, send this clip and they be like, oh, this is this is what Jay was saying. I I stand right by it. I'd be like, yep. 
you better get the homie some pussy. Yes, man. Yeah, you're you. I'm not gonna lie, you sound unhinged right now. Like, <laughs> just to be real. So what? I can't. I can't root for the homies to get some. Hey, man. I, I'm not saying that. Like the way you you framed it, real crazy. All right, like, so you oh, know what? You just you don't want your man's to get any. Like, no, that's not what I'm saying. <laughs> you I'm to saying be the coercion is crazy. The coercion <laughs> is nuts. The coercion is nuts. Oh man, you know what? All jokes aside. You know, all of this is yeah. hee hee ha obviously. Thank like, God. Never, yeah. yeah, 100%. I would, if it was me and and somebody was approaching me and you didn't you didn't feel the vibe was right, I the least I would like you to do is tap me on my shoulder and be like, hey, bro, like, just be careful. That's it. That's it. Fair. Whether I'm in a position of power or not. Like, you know, that's, that's essentially why I pick the friends that I have is because they're going to tell me whenever I'm doing bullshit or they're going to, you know, give me a heads up, whether it be a major heads up, like, Hey, yo, like don't fucking do that shit. Or it's going to be like a, you know, a very subtle, like, Hey man, like the vibe is off with her, like, or the vibe is off with them. Let's, let's not even assume that it's just women, you know, it might be somebody trying to be like, Oh, I'm a huge fan, da, 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 da. or Hey, I want to talk to you about content creation and this, that, and the other thing. And if you get a bad vibe, I'm going to listen to you. I'd be like, all right, man. Yeah, we gonna we're going to go ahead and get out of here. Like, you know, whatever the case may be like, I, because I may not be able to see something that you can see. So I'm instantly going to be like, Oh, oh yeah, yeah. My homeboy said, no. All right. Well, I'm not feeling it. So I don't, I don't have to have this conversation with you. I'm successful either way. So, okay. You know, that's what I mean. That, that's definitely a little less unhinged. So obviously I'm trying to take it to the extreme, you know, for, yeah, for you're being very content, hyperbolic, you know? Yeah. 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 yeah, yeah I get but, it. I get but it. For, the, I do, for the short, for the YouTube short, <laughs> for the YouTube short, <laughs> <laughs> but I do stand by like, if, if a, if a girl was trying to, trying to get at the squad, right. And she was like, I'm going to give plank some, I mean, I'd be like, Hey, you know, handle, handle your business, handle your business. Call me if you need me though, but handle your business. Oh so, my, call me if you need me is nuts. <laughs> I don't, I don't know. This girl might drug you and do all sorts of stuff, man. I don't know this girl, so. You know. Yeah, but if you, you want if me you're to, getting those kind of vibes, you should probably like. You want me to do a background check on her? I'd be like, excuse me, miss. I need to see two forms of ID. <laughs> like, <laughs> hey, man, fuck it. <laughs> if, it if it's like that, if the vibes are like that, a hundred percent. Crazy. Crazy, bro. If, you, if you if that's your assumption of a woman, yeah, we going Hey bro, I'm grabbing you by your collar if it's that serious. I'd be like, we gotta get the fuck out of here. <laughs> I don't know what's going on in here, but we need to leave immediately. So But yeah, man. Um it's cool. Yeah. Yeah, I can't wait to can't wait to be a successful content creator. So, you know, one day. Thank God. That'd be nice. I would I would love to love to be successful as well. <laughs> Just, just you gotta keep speaking it into existence my man it'll happen oh yeah i mean eventually yeah put enough put in enough work yeah that's how manifesting works man you say it you do it it happens simple fair so sometimes it takes a little bit more time than others but i mean you know what else can you do right but that's gonna pretty much be it for us today uh, if you guys enjoyed today's video make sure to give it a like also make sure to leave us multiple comments let us know what was your favorite part of today's video that'd be great um if you guys want you guys can listen to our podcast which is available uh on spotify apple google Podcasts. uh there's also going to be a link in the description to our patreon if you guys want more of that uncut extended content that we can't you know share on uh on our regular youtube space but you know until next time we will catch you guys later